Okay, so with each new side, I always find something extra to include. So by the end, you got everything down pat. So with these two functions on the second side, you definitely need to identify what the basic function is. That's really, what is the graph of f of x equals negative x minus five quantity squared plus four most likely resemble? And you have to know it basically resembles y equals x squared. And you already know that that is a parabola. But when it comes time for me to pick out the critical points, we always figure out the critical point in the same exact fashion. So the x value, you take that x part and you set it equal to zero. When you do that, you're going to solve and get x equals five. But for the y part, you're always going to go for the outside number. And when you look at the equation, the outside number is the number four. So, so far I haven't added anything new. When you draw your coordinate grid, your small x, y axis, wherever you believe your critical point falls, and that would be five across and up four, please at least label only the critical point. Now here's the new step. I would like you from now on to put a dotted line through the critical point horizontally and a dotted line through the critical point vertically. The reason why you do that is because you're moving the purple coordinate grid to the right five units and up four units so it's positioned there. At that point, you're normally, and I'm not gonna draw it correctly yet, gonna draw a parabola. A parabola starts at the critical point and it just goes up. But the reason why I drew it in dotted is because anytime a negative sign appears in front of the basic function identifier, that means reflect it over the horizontal line. So actually, your parabola turns downward. So once again, any time there is a negative sign in front of that basic function identifier, you have to reflect over horizontal dotted line. That's what it means. So make sure you have that written down so that you remember. Now I'm still not done. I still have to do the domain and the range. So in this particular problem, the domain of every single parabola is always going to be negative infinity to positive infinity. But the range of this problem, the height is at four. Remember it's a y coordinate, four but it goes all the way down. But you're not allowed to put negative infinity on the right. So you have to start with the negative infinity and say that it goes all the way up to a y coordinate of four, but you put a bracket because there is a dot at the y equals four. And that takes care of that problem. When you go to the next problem, the one next to it, you look at it and you ask yourself, hey, what does this basic function actually look like. And the basic function is really just y equals the cube root of x. And we already graphed that and I was calling that the sideways snake. When it comes to your critical point, and I do not want anyone to get confused on this, all right? All you have to do to find the x value of the critical point is take the x part and set it equal to zero. But there's absolutely no work to be done. x is zero. And then the y part is the outside number. So when you're looking at the equation that I gave you, your outside number is the number negative six. So when you're ready, draw your small coordinate grid always label the x-axis and the y-axis and be quite careful to make sure you put zero negative six in the correct location.
And if you always mess it up, just look. The y value is negative 6. So isn't this where the y value is negative 6? That's where 0, negative 6 is. So make sure you graph the point correctly. But from now on, I told you, I want you to put a dotted line through the critical point vertically and a dotted line through the critical point horizontally. Always. So now, how do you draw this? Well, there's nothing fancy. There's no negative sign in front. So all I have to do is draw the sideways snake. Start at the critical point and draw that half in. Go back to the critical point and draw that half in and you are done. Your domain and your range for all snakes are always negative infinity to positive infinity. So you don't even have to think about it. You just have to actually write it down. And that takes care of those two problems. Okay, so there are two more problems on this page. Let's get them done. Okay, so my first one, well my third one I should say, is f of x is equal to the number 3 minus the square root of x plus 2. But my second equation is f of x is equal to x minus 1 quantity cubed. So here are the two problems I want to go over now. When you look at the one on the left, your basic function, meaning what does the graph of the function that I gave you most likely resemble? And when you look at it, it resembles the square root of x. Now remember, you're going to have to know how to draw the square root of x, but you have to identify it first. When it comes to the critical point, we do the same process each and every time. In order to find the x for the critical point, what you need to do is take the x part, set it equal to 0, and solve. And when you subtract 2 from both sides, you get the x value equals negative 2. And I did it on purpose by reversing the order. If you want to find the y coordinate, you are going for the outside number. But the outside number here is the number 3. So I'm going to put the number 3 in. So when you're ready, you draw your small coordinate grid and once again label the x axis and label the y axis and you are going to go plot your critical point, which is negative 2 up 3. And that's the only point on the graph I actually need to have labeled. Please be consistent. I want to see a dotted vertical line going through that critical point, and I want to see a dotted horizontal line going through that point. Now, if you know, and I am going to draw it incorrectly at first, that the square root of x is, start at the critical point and draw that. Oh, I should have made it dotted, sorry. This is the square root of x, but because there is a negative sign in front of the basic function identifier, you're going to reflect this graph over the horizontal dotted line. So what is the real answer to this? This is the real answer. The one in blue is the one that is correct. So you still have to answer domain and range and you can use those dotted lines as guidelines because the domain on the left starts at negative two and there's a dot there. But those arrows mean that it keeps going to the right. And when it comes to the range, be super careful because that blue shape is completely at three or lower right? The height is 3. But you can't put negative infinity on the right. So you can't say 3 and lower. You have to say negative infinity on the left all the way up to 3. And there's a bracket because the number 3 has a dot on that line. And that takes care of the third question. Okay, we're up to our fourth question. And when you look at this one, you have to say to yourself, 
what does this function most likely resemble? And that means what is the basic function? And the basic function for this picture is y equals x to the third power. So you have to know that that means it is a snake, a vertical snake. Then we're going for the critical point. And when you go for the critical point, you always do the same process. To find the x coordinate, you go to the x part and you set it equal to zero. If you add one to both sides, you get x equals one. But when it comes to figuring out the y coordinate of the critical point, you only go for the outside number. But there actually is no outside number, so therefore you are forced to say that it's equal to zero. When you are ready, you draw your picture of a small coordinate grid, because as you can tell, they do not have to be these tremendous pictures. You label the X and you label the Y, and you have to make sure you label the critical point. Now, people mess up when there's zeros in it. So just look, it's the X on the X axis that's one. All right, that's where the critical point one comma zero is. And I had said, I always, from now on, want to see that dotted line going vertically through the critical point and that dotted line going horizontally through the critical point. Now, in addition to that, you have to know what x cubed looks like. And x cubed is the snake. So you start at the critical point and you draw one half of the snake going up on the right. Go back to the critical point and draw one half of the snake going down on the left. That's your snake. And all snakes have a domain that is negative infinity to positive infinity. And all snakes have a range that is negative infinity to positive infinity. And that takes care of this page.